What does it take to be the top engineer in your profession? How do you become the best at what you do? Engineers are all very highly technical. They know what they're doing, but only a few rise to the very top. What does it take to be that top-notch engineer? We're going to talk about it in this video. Yeah. In the engineering profession, engineering is extremely competitive. Everyone has a very high knowledge of uh, engineering, highly technical individuals, very precise about what they do, very meticulous on checking their designs. No matter what the engineering profession is, even if you're a, a coder, uh, if you're designing software, if you're a mechanical engineer, if you're an electrical engineer, if you're a civil engineer, chemical engineer, whatever you are as an engineer, you all are the same type of individuals, technical and very meticulous about what they do. So what makes certain individuals rise above the others? Well, it comes down to about five different uh, categories. First is that they have a sense of purpose. You, you know that you're meant to do this, that you know that there is no other way that you would do anything else besides this particular type of engineering, this discipline that you work in. This purpose is driving you to do more and more and more. It's a purpose of be, being an engineer. So that's usually one of the first characteristics of a top-notch engineer is that they have a sense of purpose. The second characteristics of top-notch engineers is they have a certain trait about them. The first of those traits is a passion. They really love what they're doing. These individuals that are on the top of the profession are just completely into the engineering work that they do. They are passionate about it. They will just talk about it to anybody, no matter if they're in the profession or not. Uh, they just want to talk about that type of engineering all the time. They're very passionate about it. Another trait of these individuals is that they have an innovative spirit. They're always looking for a better way of doing things. You know, in engineering, we solve problems constantly, but we also evolve over time to get better and better in solving those problems. We want to get more and more innovative, more creative ideas. How do you solve this problem? It could be better software, but it's also doing a better technique in how to do a particular design. There's always new things that are being invented, and how you can use those new products and, and, and implement them into the field. It may not necessarily be the way that it was uh, designed for, these new products, you can use it in a different way. And that's what makes us engineers is that we're constantly looking for solutions on everyday problems. So there you, you have the first two characteristics, a sense of purpose, and then they have certain traits. The third characteristic is that they have an attitude. Engineers that are on top of the uh, enchilon of engineers have a certain attitude about them. It's not a negative or positive thing. It's just that they're very, very confident and being an engineer. They know the answers and they know what anybody asks them, they probably know the answer already. Also, these attitudes that these engineers have, well, it's not necessarily in engineering. One of the areas that a top-notch engineers usually are is that they have a very healthy habit. They go out and they exercise. They have a routine that they do that's not necessarily anything to do with engineering, but they, they want to keep healthy all the time, trying to eat right, drink the right drinks, not necessarily those bad drinks uh, like sodas and, and alcohol all the time, but having water and, and juices and things that are more healthy for you. They try to eat right, they try to exercise right. They just basically live a more healthier lifestyle because they need the energy in order to be, uh, in order to stay at a top-notch engineer. Another area that uh, this attitude I'm talking about as a top-notch engineer is that they're always trying to do continual learning. You never stop learning as an engineer, so you're constantly learning. Top-notch engineers are constantly reading articles and books. They're constantly looking for new ways of doing things, so they're, they're continually learning. 
but not always in engineering, okay? So they could also be looking in business books, reading a lot of books about how to lead, how to run companies, how to market their services, uh, how to, uh, you know, just live a healthier lifestyle, basically, but they can also learn more about that. So they're, they're always learning, always trying to absorb more and more information. You don't just come to a certain point in life and that's it. I don't need to really learn anymore. I know everything there is to know. No, there's always something new coming out. So you constantly want to continually learn all the time. And even in another area of this attitude that we're talking about for the top-notch engineers is that they're also strategically content. In other words, there, there are certain things that they're very content about. Uh, maybe they're uh, very content about uh, their lifestyle, that they, they, where they live at home, the type of home they live in, this is, makes me happy. I come home and I can relax here. I get away from work for a while. This is my sanctuary, basically, so I'm content here. But they can be, can be content in their family life, uh, that they, they, they love their wives or their husbands, what have you, and their children, and they're very content with that life. But they want more in what they're doing at work. So work, uh, as far as engineering work, they're going to be very aggressive about trying to push it forward all the time. But then there's certain parts of their life that they're just very content with. They don't need to do more with. Uh, so they, they, they do what they need to do in this area over here, but they're going to spend a lot more time over here trying to uh, uh, get better and better as that engineer mindset grows and grows in them. And finally, uh, the, the next attitude that you'll see in top-notch engineers is that they're very self-disciplined. They don't need somebody telling them that you need to be working anymore today, that you need to get back focused onto your job. They are already on. As soon as they walk in the door, they're on engineering. They, that's all they live and breathe is that engineering while they're there, and they probably even after work. But they constantly are focused. They're trying to meet their timelines, trying to meet their budgets. They is constantly going out and meeting with their clients on time, on schedule. They, they just keep focusing all the time, self-disciplining themselves, making sure they get through the day and get their tasks done as they had planned. Don't need anyone to tell them that how to do their jobs. They do it on their own. Now, a fourth characteristic of top-notch engineers is that they seem to have a great rapport. They just know a lot of people. They A lot of people know them. They know a lot of people. They, it goes back and forth. They're constantly calling one another. If they have a problem with something, they can just pick up a phone, go talk to their buddy at the, uh, at the county, and they can give them the answer, and they can keep on going through their day. They have a great rapport with people. They have a friendly relationship. People like being around them. Uh, they're fun to be around. Uh, they're excited all the time. They just keep working and people like that. These are the type of individuals that are just seems for us that aren't that type. Then uh, they just have people gravitate towards them all the time. And they gravitate, gravitate towards other people. But you can learn to do that too. Uh, I do it all the time. You know, wherever we go to meetings and, and, and such, well, I'm always going out and greeting other people. They greet me. So I know a lot of people. That's what a top notch engineer does. He has this ability to develop these relationships with people. And not necessarily with clients and government entities, but also within the workplace. Uh, Everybody at work wants to be on his team, they want to be. Um, working for this top-notch design team because they have the best manager or best engineer or what have you because he has this great relationship with his design team. Well, that's that rapport that we're talking about that they, they just uh, they know how to talk to people. So you too can develop that same skill. The fifth and final characteristics of these top-notch engineers is that they have certain skills. And one of the first of those skills is they're great at setting goals. In other words, not only setting those goals, but also plan, setting a plan in place to reach those goals. Engineers can get bogged down in the project itself, but there's other things besides the engineering projects, and that is to set your goals out to where you wanna go. How many projects do you wanna do in a year? How much, uh, what type of projects you wanna do in the year? What's the dollar value of the projects that you're trying to work on? Get more projects out, more designs out faster. Are you trying to break certain deadlines? Are you trying to finish 
all your projects on time, 100% of the time, 90% of the time. You know, these are goal setting. And then how do you uh, go about doing that? Do you uh, train your design team to be better at what they're doing, making them more efficient at what they're doing? Are you going to send them to other schools that uh, in the area or send them to the various entities to learn how to do learn how to make certain plans to meet the criteria that they need in order to go through once and approve. Those are the ways that a top-notch engineer thinks is that he's a great goal setter and he also knows to set those plans in order to reach his goals. Another great skill of a top-notch engineer is that they are great at time management. There's only, there's only so many hours in the day so he has to be able to allocate hours to certain things all throughout the day. If you don't, well, you'll find you won't have anything done by the end of the day. So these top-notch engineers seem to get a whole lot of work done because they are able to schedule their time out. They spend so much time on in the morning, maybe reading their emails and answering emails. They'll spend so much time in answering phones and then maybe uh, in the afternoon returning phone calls that they didn't pick up throughout the day. They uh, spend so much time on writing reports, so much time in, in actually reviewing uh, designs and projects all throughout the day. And then by the end of the day, they have met all the tasks that they would plan to complete that day. This is time management. And so uh, top-notch engineers are excellent at doing that. If you take the first letter of the five characteristics of top-notch engineers, it spells out STARS, okay? Which is a sense of purpose, traits, attitudes, rapport, and skills. That's the five uh, characteristics of a top-notch engineer. They are the stars of our industry. Just give you a quote of someone that I think kind of hits it right on the, on the nail. And this comes from Henry David Thoreau. What you get by achieving your goals is not as important as who you become by achieving your goals. So just give those a moment of thought and remember to be a top-notch engineer, you gotta be one of those stars. That's those five characteristics of a top-notch engineer. I know you've gotten value out of this video, so please go on down below right there and subscribe to our channel. Also hit that bell so you'll be notified every time we upload a new video. Let's go over to the side here and check out some of the other videos that we have uh, for you to watch. So until the next time, keep on growing your skills as an engineer and keep on developing your skills as a manager, a project manager. We'll see you on the next video.